welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. Before we get started, thanks to everybody that's purchased the DVDs and thanks for all the great comments and feedback about how you enjoyed them and the great resolution that they are. Um, it's a wonderful way to actually um, enhance your Photoshop Elements experience by just watching some simple videos and then doing the tutorials yourself. I do get a lot of emails people saying, Jack, why should I buy the videos if they're on YouTube? There is some never seen before videos that I did just for the DVDs. So you get those included on the DVDs and there's many different ways to buy them. Volume 1, Volume 2, the Mac edition, and then you can buy a two volume set. Or if you wish, um, I've had a couple people email me that bought the two volume set and also picked up the Mac edition. So just email me if you'd like to do that and I can set you up some special pricing on that also. Next, if you're doing any green screen photography work, uh, my friend Ken at Green Screen Wizard um, would love to help you out with his software. And it's right here. Just come to my uh, site, jackstechcorner.com, right up here. And you can pick up the Green Screen Wizard. Uh, if you click on this graphic, it also helps um, helps to show out, as well as helps to pay those web hosting fees. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this episode. This show is going to be called Revisiting Layers. It seems like I get more and more emails every day, people saying, Jack, I just don't understand layers and how layers works. Layers is the basis of Photoshop. Um, once you understand layers, you can do so much work in Photoshop and not destroy the underlying photo. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's why we want to use layers. Here we have a picture of downtown Pittsburgh. Yep, downtown Pittsburgh, the city of champs. And I know, anybody from Detroit watching, I'm sorry. But the Penguins did pull it off. Um, so this is the city of champs. We now have a uh, Super Bowl trophy for the year, as well as a Stanley Cup. So with that said, we're going to learn about layers using this picture of the city of Pittsburgh. Here we opened it up. We have the, back, the background layer, which is locked. So what I did, I duplicated the background layer, and we came up with the background copy. Now these, as I just said, I duplicated the background layer and came with the copy. These are now individual layers. That's how we have to look at this. The way I explain this when I teach my classes, and anybody that's ever taken my classes understand that layers, I show them pieces of paper. If you can remember back in the day, maybe when you were young, you would lay a comic strip down, we'd put a piece of tracing paper on top. That would be a secondary layer. And then we would trace the picture. Now if we'd put another piece of tracing paper on top of that, and we would color it in, that would yet be another layer. That's exactly how these layers work. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click here, and we're going to add some text. I want you to watch what happens when we add this text. Right here, what happens is we get a text in a new layer. You can rename these because as you start building your layers up, what's going to happen is you're going to start to get confused about what's on a layer. So, let's go ahead and do that again. Let's add some text up here. All right. And start typing in there. Click on a checkbox here. All right. Back this up a little bit. It's actually going to be too big. Let's change this font size down. Wow, that is way too big. Let's change it down to about 36. All right. So we added some text. We're going to click the little checkbox here. All right. And you see here now we have it. It says right on it Pittsburgh, PA. This one here was a mistake, so we can delete this layer. Just click on it, left click on it, pull it up and put it in the trash bin. Let's click back on that layer. Now if you click on the layer, you click on the move tool, you can actually move this around. We can even resize our text, right? We know we can do that. We've watched all the text videos I've created, I'm sure. And we'll just select check. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to create another layer. 
So let's go up here to text once again. I like using text because it's really easy to illustrate. Um, let's put this right here. We'll type in here. Pittsburgh's known for its three rivers also, so we'll put that in there. And you see we have another text box now. We have this text box and this text box. Now what I wanted to show you was we can actually move these layers around in different orders. And maybe to illustrate that what we're going to do is let's click on this layer. We're going to hide these two for right now. And we're going to try to get rid of some of this sky. So we clicked on that layer. We're going to do a quick selection here of some of this sky. Just like that. And I'm going to delete that sky. There we go. Just that quick. Get rid of the sky. You see it got rid of some of the other blue over here, but that's okay for the illustration. We're all right. And we're going to go up to select, deselect. Now the reason I wanted to show you that is we're going to put a different background in for that sky. So all we have to do here is create a new layer. And we are going to grab our gradient tool. Just for now. I'm going to hold my shift key down so I can draw a straight line across here. Right like this. And I'll leave it go. Now, this is what I wanted to illustrate with layers. This is how I kind of like to illustrate this. You can see the layers turn on. But seeing that we created a new layer, or basically a new picture over top of our picture, it's exactly the same size, so that's what we're getting with layers. It's the same size. It covers up the whole entire picture of the city, as well as the text. Now, the reason that happens is, this layer has to be behind the picture if we just want to come up in that transparent area right here at the top. All we have to do at that point with these layers is rearrange them. Left click and hold and drag it up. And when you do that, what happens is you now put that layer behind the picture of the city. And the reason it's showing through is because it's transparent. Now, the other issue was the text was actually on top of the layer we deleted. So if we pull this down, uh, hold on one second here. Okay, so at that point, the text was shut off, is what we did. We shut the text off. The text was residing on the background layer. But if you didn't have layers, when we deleted this background, this right here, let me turn this on, turn this off. When we deleted this, if we had the text in there, right, it would have been deleted with the background. But seeing it's on layers, we didn't destroy what we were working on. Let's turn this back on, turn this off, and let's turn our layers back on. There's our Pittsburgh, there's our three rivers. We can move this back around, just like so. And that's the way layers works. So now I hope you understand layers a little better. And, you know, just take your time with layers because layers is the basics and the basis of everything you're going to do in Photoshop is understanding layers and how they interact with each other. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video tutorial on using layers. And remember, if you'd like to support the show, go to jackstechcorner.com, pick up a copy of the DVD. I'm sure you'll be very impressed with it. Uh, many, many people have so far. It greatly helps to show out to uh, purchase new equipment uh, for recording the videos, you know, getting the web space we need and everything set up there. And if you don't want to purchase the DVDs, that's fine. If you look at the left-hand side of the website, there's also a donation button. A lot of people just choose to donate, and that's fine. Any amount is well accepted, and it helps out. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, keep those shutters clicking. Keep the editor editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.